Get on, get on, get on, come 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 on, Time for another one, baby. He's gonna drop another one. They hungry right now. We're gonna keep on putting on them. What'd you think about that? He's a swallow. Hey, seeing this, you know, all those times you're watching us, huh? Welcome to the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. Fishing television with intensity. Your host, Captain Ben Chansey, invites you to come along for some line singing, leader free and tackle busting action. Chew On This. Hey, if big fish is what you're looking for, then you've come to the right fishing show. Giant Goliaths, Monster Snook, Hungry Man Eating Sharks, Huge Redfish, and Big Time Tarpon. Chew, 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 chew on this. Fishing television with intensity. Intensity. Are you ready for some of the most intense, highly entertaining saltwater fishing you have ever seen? Then sit back, tighten up, and chew on this with Captain Ben Chansey. <laughs> it flies. <laughs> chew on this. Saltwater fishing with intensity is brought to you by Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. Fishing Guide's homepage is at fghp.com. Fish and drinks, helping fishermen do what they enjoy most. Black Pearl Cast Nets, nothing gets away. Tuco Pete, grow the difference. I Avet Reels, just the best made reels, period. Well, everybody at home, I'm trying to show you all the things on the boat and the way that I rig the boat personally. Being a captain and being a fishing show host, I want to. I get lots of emails where people are asking, hey, Captain, what do you use for this and what do you use for that? And why do you use that? Well, I chose to go with a Minn Kota trolling motor. It's the Riptide series. It's an 80-pound thrust motor. It has a composite shaft, so it's very durable. So if I happen to make a mistake and run into an oyster bar or run into something I'm not supposed to, this shaft has a tendency to bend without breaking. And as you know in fishing, it's real easy to break things. So this motor provides me with the ability to do things that another trolling motor might not allow me to do. It also gives me the opportunity to run it in a saltwater environment because it's a saltwater series motor. It's got special anodes and diodes and uh, special coverings that keep all the electronics and all the boards covered so no salt water ever gets to them. So it works very, very well in the saltwater environment. And I got my trolling motor through Glenn Pace's at Glenn Pace's Minn Kota and Repair. He's a very good guy. He's been doing this for a long, long time, and he really knows how, any Minn Kota question I've ever had. I can go to him, even call him on the phone and say, Glenn, I've got this problem or I've got this problem, and he can lead me to directly what my issue is and whether I need to bring it in or whether I can take care of it there while I'm there. So you guys, if you're looking for a Minn Kota trolling motor, make sure you check out Glenn Pace's. He's there for you, and he'll do anything he can to help you out. The anchor that I use is called a Secure Anchor. Now, I actually was introduced to it by a cousin of mine, Christopher Barnett. I saw him using this anchor one day. It didn't have a chain or anything on it. We were in some rough, windy conditions. He just pulled that thing out and tossed it off the front of the boat. We were latched. We didn't go anywhere for the rest of the day. Well, this anchor, this Secure Anchor I got right here, it's got a stainless steel shaft. Everything's stainless. It's got a stainless shackle. And then it's got a bronze fluke. Now this bronze fluke is, uh, this particular anchor is a 12 pound model. And uh, it's recommended from boats up to 
about 24 foot, 22 to 24 foot. So anything below that up to 22 to 24 foot, it just works phenomenal for. And what happens is, is uh, you can just tie your rope up to the shackle or get you a, a shackle prepared rope and take that, put it in your anchor locker and you don't ever have to worry about putting a chain on it or anything and it will hold you. It's just absolutely amazing. If you're running with the current or the wind's blowing you hard and you throw this anchor overboard, the secure anchor, once it catches, you better hold on because it's going to flip that boat around and it could throw you out. I mean, it catches remarkably well. Once I found it, I was in love with it. And I'm sure if you guys get a chance, if you, if you get an opportunity, you go to this website here and check out Secure Anchors. Once you buy a Secure Anchor, I don't think you'll ever want another anchor. They're just phenomenal. And they got a smaller size to them, so they'll fit into your anchor locker without any problems. They just work very well. So hey, that's a helpful hint from Captain Ben Chancy. All right, you guys, here's another of the cool features that I got on how I rigged out my boat. This thing here is invaluable. Whenever I'm in shallow water, you know, anchors are great. I love my secure anchor. But having to go up there and pull it out of the box and throw it down when I'm in only two, three, four, five foot of water, it's just not very intelligent. It's not the best way to do things. When you're a fisherman, you want to try to find the best ways to do things to be the quietest and the most efficient possible. Well, this power pole, the shallow water anchor, People are starting to learn about them, but not everybody knows about them yet. And if you haven't seen one before, well, this is what we're going with. It's a great setup. To me, it kind of reminds me of a praying mantis with the way the arm goes out and everything. You can get them with key fobs, which is what I got right here. And what this fob does is I just push one button. And when I do, it allows me to push this pole, which is on here, allows me to push it into the ground and that will anchor me up wherever I am up to six foot of water. So I just hold this key fob down and there it is. We're all anchored up. You can hear the motor. It pushes in until it's firmly landed. You can feel the boat swinging around right now. And if I'm on fish and I see these fish swimming in front of me in the shallow water, then I can stop without spooking them and have a great shot at just slinging, slinging a bait right to them. And without spooking them, and it really allows me to do better and be more efficient and more effective wherever I'm going after fish. That's the power pole. That's the shallow water anchor, and it's a great product. And if you don't have one on your boat, you guys are really messing up. All right, you guys at home, we got a huge lady fish here in the well. I've got Jason LaValle. He's the cameraman that you guys don't ever get to see. And he's hooking up this big lady fish. And I thought nothing better than to close out this season by letting my cameraman get a shot at what we've been doing all year. You know, he, he's got it tough because he gets to see all the stuff we do, he gets to capture it, but he doesn't get to participate. So I'm like, Jason, it's time to have a Merry Christmas. Seeing as how you don't get a shot at any of this, I want you to get first dip. So he grabbed the biggest lady fish in the well. Check this guy out. And we're gonna drop him over here by the thing. Come on, let's put that thing in the water. And you guys, check this out. All right, you guys. Jason's got this big lady fish. We're about to drop him down on the side of this piling. It's not gonna take long. Watch and see. Can put your timer on. Put your clicker on. I'm gonna make sure I spot him here. He's got 200 pound test on this Avette. We've got it set up with 100 pounds of drag. And what we gotta do is we gotta get real close right up on that edge up there. Cause they're hanging right off the side of that piling. I think that there's a, um, I think there's some kind of cave inside of that piling or something. Now, Jason, you being the cameraman and all, what were you supposed to say just now? Chew on this. That's right, my boy. man, that's right. Chew on this. <laughs> all right, I'm going to give him a little bit of room, but when he hooks up, I'm going to get up there and I'm going to spot him. Oh, oh. He already on? Is no. he already on? No. He might have bumped it on the way down. Oh, my goodness. Are we on the bottom? Yep. Okay. Is he on? Okay, real down, real down. I, you're on something. He, you're on there. You're on there. He's on there. He's on there. Back us up. Back us up. Back us up, baby. Come 
on, Jace. Come on, Jace. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's hold it. Let's hold that fish. Hold that fish. Keep us backing up, backing us up, backing us up. Come on, baby. Get that baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, Jason. Get it, baby. <laughs> put it on you. Put it on you. All right, Chase. Keep backing up like you're doing. You're doing good, baby. Doing a good job. Come on, Jason. Come on, Jason. Don't let him get us in the pilots. Come on. Hold him up. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. Hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. Bring it back. Keep backing us up. Don't, don't stop backing us up. Keep on. Keep coming. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't let him get us in the pilots. Boss him up, boss him up. There you go. Come on up. Don't don't rub it on that edge because it's, we, we've got uh, we've got screws there. Okay, I don't want you to bust it off. Hey, you tired yet? Almost. Not yet. Oh! <laughs> ah! That's all right, fellas. That's just the first bait that we dropped down. I don't know what happened there. Sometimes they just get off for whatever reason or sometimes they just close their mouth on the fish and you don't get the hook in them they just got them i think that's what might have happened on that one we didn't ever get the hook in him he just ate it and we didn't have the hook in him so this time we're gonna try to get a hook in him. we're gonna drop that bait back in there so wait just a second we're gonna get over there we're gonna drop it back down we'll be right back put your rod tip lower there you go now once you feel something strange go on you flip that up all the way up and get them all right flip it now i think we're good Oh, 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 he ate it! He ate it, baby! He ate it big time! He ate it! He got it! He got it! He got it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah! Uh oh, uh oh! Come on, Jace! Come on, Jace! Hold it, baby! Hold it! Hold it! Good job, man! Good job! Good job! Yeah, baby! Ha ha ha! Pull that thing out of that one! Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. All right, keep the rod off a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! Come on, come on, let's get up. We gotta get out of Because they'll hit you on that way down and mess you up. Is he? You something to eat that thing? Huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he bounced a little bit. <laughs> They're sneaky like that. I can be. Man, it's got me sweating. <laughs> Heart's racing right now. Yeah, I remember when we were watching Captain uh, Hope and Captain Nelson, you're like, boy, that's some tough stuff. I bet you wondered how it'd feel like, huh? Yeah, I was wondering about how Nelson did, <laughs> Captain Nelson did it there. And that was a one a big 501 fish. pounder. That's a big fish. <laughs> to quote Captain Dave Hoke, huh? Right. <laughs> Come on, babies. You guys were as hungry as could be just a second ago. I know you're still hungry. Lift it back up and redrop it right beside the pilot. There you go, there you go. He hit it, he hit it. He hit it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Here we go. There you go. There you go. Woo back us up, back us up. Come on, Jason. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We're pulling back with a boat. Oh, oh, he's a big boy. Whoa, get off the boat. Get off the boat, baby. Come on, come on. Good job, good job, good job. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, hold that baby. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, big boy. Come on, big boy, come out of there. All right, James, you can't reel like this, okay? We gotta hold him, we gotta hold him. Just hold him, don't reel. Get on here, just hold him. Come on. Come on, baby, can't reel these big fish when they're like that. They're strong. All right, hold, just hold, hold it for a minute, hold it for a minute. Let's get him away, let's get him away. Yeah, he's, he's not done, right? He's not done. Don't get him off the side of the boat. Come on. That's it. Uh, It'll cut, it'll cut our line if you get him on the side of the boat. Uh, get back up on the deck. We're gonna, we're gonna lose him on that rail. I'll spot you. Don't worry about that. I'll spot you. Come on. Yeah, now you can get on it. Now you can get on it. There you go. Start moving him. Well, hey, is this a good time? 
the best. Hey, everybody at home is thinking, uh, you breathing mighty hard for it to be a good time. All I got to say is, come try it. Come on, baby. We talking to you, big boy. You need any help? Should I help you or something? I'm good. For now. <laughs> oh! You pissed him off. Come on there, cameraman Jason. Get him, baby. Get him. Get him. Yeah, baby. Now, you guys remember, I introduced this off that reel not too long ago uh, to us uh, Southwest Florida fishermen. Jason's getting to check it out for the first time. 100 pounds of drag is just something that it puts such a stress on your body and on the fish. It's absolutely amazing. Never had a reel, even thought they could make a reel with that much drag. You know those big, huge Penn Internationals, those 130s and stuff? They only pull like 30 pounds of drag, 35 pounds of drag max, something like that. When Avdek came out with this reel, it just really amazed me. And this is the first time Jason's ever got a chance to fish with it. Wait till you see this fish is coming up. Oh, it's quite possibly my man's biggest one ever. I must not eat my Wheaties this morning. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, get him off the boat, get him off the boat, get him off the boat. Come on, come on, don't let him on the rail. Come on, there you go, don't let him on the rail. I know it's tough, I know it's tough. Good job there, good job, good job, good job. Keep him up, keep him up, keep him up. There you go, come on, come on, babe, come on, get him off the rail, get him off the rail. Get back, off the rail, off the rail, there you go. There you go, get him off the rail, come on, come on, come on. Off, the rail. off the rail, off the rail, off the rail, off the rail. It's tough now, see, we're front decking this fish right now, so we don't have any gunnels to lean on, so it's real tough to get your feet underneath you without having something to lean on. So that's what's making it a little tough right now. So that's why Jason's having a little tough time of keeping it off the railing. So that's why this, when you do this type of fishing, it's really dangerous because you could lose a rod or a person because it's tough to keep your balance with a huge fish like this and them pulling with all their might. I think he's coming in the water. Look down there, you guys. Look at this huge fish. <laughs> Good stuff, baby. Oh, Chew on that. All right, my man. Ain't nothing like closing a season off with a huge Goliath grouper like that. Well, you guys at home, I hope you guys have enjoyed the chew on this saltwater fishing show. We're going to be right back. I'm glad my cameraman got to have a shot at getting one of these huge fish. We're going to pull him on the boat for you real quick. Take some measurements. Let's see what he looks like out of the boat so we can send the measurements into the fisheries commission. They like checking, seeing, uh, they'll tell us how old these fish are and uh, let us know how old they are and what the approximate weight is. Uh, there's a website that we check for the weight and then they'll be able to give us more of an exact weight. But the website we check, they tell us a formula. So you guys stay tuned, we'll be right back and we'll show you what this big guy looks like on top of the, on the boat. So give me a second, we'll be right back. All right, Jason, bring him over here to me. All right, we're gonna pull this big old heifer in the boat here. This is always a tough, tough part because they're honoring when you do this. They're like a big old alligator. They start twisting on you. All right, come on, big boy. All right, hold that up there. Hold his head out of the water. All right, I'm gonna top. Sometimes when they're too big, you gotta top lip them with these boga grips. Ah! <laughs> come on, baby. I never quite always have it with these guys. Sometimes. <laughs> ah, woo, nothing like lifting some fish for some deadlifts. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, mommy. Nice. Woo. That reel is amazing. Well, you guys, we're back. We got this monster on the boat. Not exactly sure how much he weighs, but I'm going to say right about 200, 225. I believe it's Jason's biggest fish ever. I don't know. Is your biggest fish ever close nah, to it? Biggest grouper. Biggest Goliath grouper ever. Heck. Can't believe that's it. That's awesome. And we got it on TV. What do you that's, think about that's that? That's amazing. Hey, you guys, in case you ever wonder who it is back there shooting these shows, well, this is your man, Captain. Uh, not Captain, but he's my cameraman. It's Jason LaValle. And I actually got Captain Nelson behind you there shooting this show. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This edition of the Chew on this Saltwater Fishing Show. But heck, I hope you enjoyed the whole year. 
Hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. And thanks a lot for tuning in to the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. Keep up with the website and go to www.chewonthis.tv. Well, everyone back home, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole season of the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. This was our first season, and all those emails that you guys at home sent me saying how much you liked the show, that really helped me keep on pushing and trying to put out the best show I possibly could. And from all the emails I got, it seems like you guys had a good time and really enjoyed it. And some of those big fish, I hope it's the biggest fish you've ever seen in your life, actually on a boat or by a boat. And from my family to your family, I'd like to wish you guys at home a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And remember, like I always say, chew on this. This week's edition of Chew on This, saltwater fishing with intensity has been brought to you by... Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. Fishing Guide's homepage is at fghp.com. Fish and Drinks, helping fishermen do what they enjoy most. Black Pearl Cast Nets, nothing gets away. Tuco Pete, grow the difference. Avec Reels, just the best made reels, period.